Hello everybody, Ruffy Rockrash here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to speedrun Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. So, within the, the first 24 hours of the game, it hasn't even been 24 hours at the moment of recording this video, uh, this game is absolutely broken. Um, so, uh, to start with your speedrun, you just want to start a new game, and your timer starts as soon as you start moving. So, the first thing you want to do is you just want to continue the, the beginning of the chapter like normal, go through the door, go down the hallway. So for the first major skip of the run, uh, is actually right here. Uh, so you go up to this wall, and this wall, uh, surprisingly has no collision. So, um, this is a skip that we've named Bean Skip. Uh, you are going to go ahead and drop down. Okay, so once you're on top of the vent here, what you want to do is you want to you wanna make sure that you crouch down. And you're going to want to aim sort of towards this this black object here on the wall and just either you could either tap forward or you can hold forward i hold forward because it's slightly faster and you notice you start to dip down slightly that's a good sign so once that's when you want to start turning your camera a little bit more to the right and just drop down onto this piece of invisible collision and walk on top of the vent here now be very careful not to walk into the center of the vent because you can drop down into the vent and that will kill your runs. So, once you're on top of here, you have two options. You could either one, jump onto this piece right here, or to save a little bit more time, you could just jump onto this side like that. And now, once you're here, make sure not to touch this because if you touch this vent here, you will get stuck. So, <clears throat> then you notice that you can, you can see, there's that there. What you want to do, once you're right on this side of the vent, you want to slightly tap forward. You want to be very careful. Forward, forward, forward. Once you're about right here, you want to stop. Once you're, once you're about here, once you're about right here on the vent, you go, you just tap right slightly until you slightly clip through, and then you can grab the swing. So at this point, what you want to do is you just want to hold, you just want to hold right click now, and it's going to build momentum. As soon as you hit crouch, you're going to go flying. Now, I held it for a bit too long there. The longer you hold it, the more momentum you build up, which can be very key to just swinging yourself across very quickly. Now, depending on your setup, when you get there, you could either get soft locked and stuck in the wall, or you can get really lucky and get it first try. There you go. That's another way you can do it as well. If you pop out, you can just, if you have fast enough reflexes, you can just grab it and you can swing right across. And this bean skip skips the poppy key moving to the to the barrels to access the door for poppy key the whole poppy segment underneath and having to wait the five seconds to open the door so at this point in the run you just want to continue the the chapter like normal just open the door and you're gonna want to run right past poppy and just drop down now once you're here at this point of the run you're going to want to go immediately left to the power room. Once you're about right here, you can shoot your hand onto the receiver. So, what you want to do is you want to double click so that your hand stays on the receiver. Then you just want to walk up to this right here. Make sure that your wire touches this so that it gets stuck to it. Grab the power. And then connect it to the last one. That, you do it fast enough, you can do it in about two seconds tops. As soon as you finish this puzzle, you want to reload your game. Because at this point, we're going to exploit a new glitch called Green Hand Early. So to do Green Hand Early, you want to reload your last save. You just want to spam right click on the loading screen. And if you get it, like I just did first try, you will get this funky string and then bam it comes back you've got green hand so 
you can't actually use this green hand yet until you first use the blue hand. So, once you pull out the blue hand and use it, there you go. Now I can use both of them. Once you have gotten the green hand, you want to go down this hallway to about right here. About right in the center of this yellow tile. So if you come down this hallway, you enter the door, you'll see this tile pattern. Red, red, yellow, red. You want to stand on the center of this yellow here. You'll want to shoot the blue hand right next to you on the wall here. So that it lets you use your green hand. Shoot the blue hand first, and then shortly after the green hand. Sometimes you might have to go a little bit further on the yellow cube. But, you can trigger the cutscene without her taking your hand this way. It's very important that you shoot the blue hand first, and the green hand slightly after. Once this cutscene is op over, the door will just open, pull the lever down like normal, go out into the train room. So at this point, your speedrun is pretty much over, and you just have to hope that RNG doesn't screw your run. Throw your hand up on the receiver before, while you're about right here. That way the door's already open when you get to it. Now this part is is mostly RNG, except for the first two patterns. So to set this up, you press the shuffle twice, one, two, so that it's bunny, kissy, bee cat, mommy. Once you've got it set up this way, you just press the button under the bunny twice, and the button under mommy once. Now, once this is set up, the rest of this is complete RNG, as unfortunately the buttons are randomized in the order that you're supposed to get it, and it is a 1 in 24 chance. So, you can just go ahead and guess your numbers. It can be literally anything. And there you go. So, once... Once these lights go green, you just grab this. As of right now, it's unclear if pulling this and the light turning on is where you end your time, or at the end of the tunnel when you finish pulling the levers where you end your time, but at this point, your run is pretty much over. So once she is finished talking, uh, you're gonna notice that the train is gonna start going faster, and that this red light is gonna start blinking. So once this starts blinking, about right now, it's going to start blinking. This this sign attached to the lever will flash seven times for five, six, seven. So on the seventh flash, when this flashes the seventh time, that's when you start pulling the lever. And that's time. Hopefully this video was helpful for people who are just getting into speedrunning probably playtime. This is the route as of May 6th, 2022. Could possibly change as it has only been 24 hours since the game released. Not even. Uh, if the route does change, I will be making another update video just so that you guys know that. So stay tuned for that if it does change. It doesn't look like it could change at this point as there's really no way to save more time at this point. But thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a good day.